Hi guys, we're doing the makeup and I'm gonna do her makeup. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>
and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. This is a B Dallium Tools um, flat foundation brush. This is the number 948. And then as I'm blending it out, that's when I take it along my nose and start to highlight the side of my nose right here. And this is the TV paint stick from Cryolin, and this is in the shade NG2. I have a couple of these. Um, if you can't get a hold of one of these Cryolin TV paint sticks, a great dupe is the Maybelline Superstay, this stick foundation, and this one is in the shade um, Deep Bronze 370. I use this a lot um, on myself, but I have the Cryolin in, I have actually like two or three of these, and I have one in my makeup kit. Normally when I go to contour on a client, when I have a client in my chair, I actually use a paint, like an actual paint brush from Hobby Lobby. I've found some at also at Michael's as well, but it's an actual like paint brush and that I really like to use when I have a client in my chair. But for me, um, I just go in with this angled brush right here, it's super dirty. But I just dab this on the paint stick stairs to my makeup kit to get the paintbrush that I use on my clients and I just like this one because when I'm working on someone it just really allows me to go in and chisel it the bristles are super soft this one is from Hobby Lobby and it is from the master's touch line and it is a 1.5 um, brush so if you guys want to go get one of these but yeah I use I mean on myself I don't but um, I just find it easier to use something like this or even something like this, a brush like this for myself here at home to kind of stamp in my contour. But as far as clients, when I'm working and doing makeup on somebody else, an application on someone else, this is the brush that I use to chisel out people's jawline, their cheekbones, you know, wherever they need a little contouring, their nose, all of that. All right, so now we're going to <laughs> contour my lip. This is something I'm really excited to show you guys because a lot of people think that I have 
filler in my lips. I do not have filler in my lips. I overdraw my lips. I mean, I naturally have, you know, kind of poofy lips. I just, I always have. But um, I overdraw my lips and I also contour before. If you want big, juicy, luscious lips without lip injections, pay attention to this little trick. So I'm gonna go in with the Scott Barnes 59 brush. So we're gonna go in with the same Kryolan paint stick and I'm gonna show you how I contour my lips. normally contour my nose but for the sake of showing you know this is like a Scott Barnes inspired tutorial um I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys it might look a little wonky I'm not used to contouring my nose what your face should look like and then you contour under here that's what gives you that illusion of like a really sharp jawline which I really like I think it looks I don't know there's something sexy about just a really nice sharp jawline okay now I'm gonna go in with this is a little soy saucer bowl I have tons of these I ordered a bunch on Amazon I carry at least five of them in my makeup kit um, it allows me to mix foundation and you, I just swirl my brush in there. Um, I customize color match my clients um, because not everybody is the same shade straight out of the bottle. Some people have a little warmth, some people have a little more coolness. So yeah, I always try to color match and um, customize a foundation for my clients when I have them in my chair. So now I'm gonna go in with the Scott Barnes number 68 brush. This is the foundation brush. I love this brush. This brush has been such a game changer for me doing makeup on myself and also doing makeup as a makeup artist. And I'm gonna be using the Forever Dior Foundation 24 hour high perfection skin caring foundation with sunscreen. And I'm just gonna do one pump in here I'm telling you, this technique, you don't need a lot of foundation. And I'm gonna take my brush, swirl it around, and then we're gonna start, really, it's all in where you hold the brush. You don't wanna hold it too close because you're gonna be like too like stiff. You need to be a little more relaxed and hold the brush a little bit, you know, further out to, towards the end of the brush and just let the brush do the work. So right here, we're gonna brush up. And then down here, brush down. And it's all like with a buffing motion. And you guys probably think, oh my God, she's going over her contour, but I am not. As you can see, my contour is still there. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and just buff the foundation into the rest of my face so you guys can see what I'm talking about. all buffed in and as you can see my contour is still there and my skin just kind of has 
you know, this really nice sh shape to it, even tone. My nose contour is still there. You can see my lips have like this natural pout, even though I went over with the brush, with the foundation. All right, now we're gonna go and set everything with powder. And I'm actually going to be using one of my favorite powders. It is the Derma Blend in the shade Original. This is the Morphe White 11. And I'm just gonna dip it in here. And then I'm actually gonna take the cap and kind of press the brush in there. And whatever excess needs to fall off will fall off. And then I'm gonna take what's on the brush and press it into my skin. Same thing, press the brush into the lid and just lightly tap off the excess. is set with powder now I'm gonna go in and highlight and I'm really excited because I'm gonna be using my um, Scott Barnes glowy and showy thank you to my husband shout out to my husband thank you babe um, he always supports me when I want to get new makeup or try new makeup especially when it's for my kit um, yes this is for my kit but I have maybe possibly tried it on myself a few times it's just so beautiful but these like are the most soft and pigmented highlighters like I don't even know how to describe the formula but they're like like it's just so soft and buttery like a buttery silky pillow <laughs> like I don't know I don't know what other way to describe it but anyway I'm gonna go into the shade candlelight from the Scott Barnes palette and actually, I'm just going to kind of run it along right here, these three, which is Pinkaboo, Candlelight, and Twilight Sand. These right here. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Candlelight, and I'm going to run that down the center on the bridge of my nose, just right here, to highlight. Just a little bit on my forehead, right above the brow. Okay, so then after I highlight, I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm actually gonna go in with the ColourPop blush that I've really been loving. This is called Between the Sheets. It's just a really, really pretty color. And I'm actually gonna go in with my Tati Beauty Blendiful Sponge. I'm just gonna press it into this cream blush right here and pick some up on my Blendiful. And then I'm just gonna, right here on the apples of my cheeks, So moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and do go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to use the nude lip liner number one from KK Beauty. I love these lip liners. I also really love Soar by Mac. Um, I love nine nine five one by ColourPop. Um, Coconut by Kylie Cosmetics. That one's another good one and also Sorme Cosmetics. The only thing I don't like about these is that they're square, and so they're really hard to sharpen. But Sorme, this is a great nude lip liner. But today I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty in the shade number one. And then I'm gonna go in with the matching lipstick, the Nude One lipstick also from KKW Beauty. I'm 
gonna go in with the Going Coconuts by ColourPop. Thank you, Ashley, for recommending this um, <laughs> eyeshadow palette to me. This is my first time using it, but it's a really great combination of like nude shades. flat shader brush normally you I use a pencil brush on my lower lash line but I've really been liking using a flat shader brush and then I go in and kind of buff it out this is the morphe m432 and I'm actually gonna go in with shell <laughs> that I have right here and there's like this really pretty um, shade like a cream shade right here it's called shredded this one right here and I'm just gonna dip my brush in there and just use that to kind of blend everything and soften up the edges And then I'm actually going to pinch this and dip it into um, the shade Nutty right here. This shade right here. And just focus that on the outer part of my eye. Then I'm going to go back in with this flat shader brush. I'm going to dip it into the shade Nutty. I'm going to use that and then just kind of drag it along the top of my lash line and just really press it right there on my lash line. I do love my contour, but I'm still going to go back in and kind of just go over that contour to kind of define it a little bit more and bring it back out. And I'm going to be using my Scott Barnes um, contour palette. This is probably like one of my favorite bronzing brushes lately. This is the Morphe 143. Um, I just, I like the shape of it. I really wanted the Scott Barnes one, but one thing at a time i'm slowly ordering a few things at a time from scott barnes i would love to own his entire brush collection i have a few that i really like like i have his foundation brush i have one for myself one in my kit i have a few of his eyeshadow brushes which are amazing um i have um like i said i have that lip brush that i used in the eyebrow brush so i do have a few of his brushes they're amazing 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 brushes so a little at a time i hope to accumulate my scott barnes collection i'm actually gonna dip into the shade chiseled and then sliced and tricks that I've learned from Scott Barnes and other celebrity makeup artists that I really admire. 
um, just techniques on doing my own makeup myself, ways that I've kind of made them my own, even though they aren't my own. I definitely learned them from somebody else, but I just wanted to share because I always get questions. And so I just wanted to put this video out there. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, come um, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. If you have any questions at all, I know I didn't really talk too much about the products that I used, but if you have any questions at all, come over to Instagram, DM me, and I would be more than happy to answer. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I am a busy mom, um, wife, and I am a hairstylist and makeup artist as well, so I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you take something away from it to incorporate into your own daily routine or if you're a makeup artist yourself, maybe um, it'll help you to think a little outside the box and approach you know, someone in your chair differently. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.